As the storm cleanup began, the man in charge of the besieged borough of Staten Island said he'd had enough with the American Red Cross. All these people making these big salaries, these big salaries should be out there on the front line. And I am disappointed. And my advice to the people in Staten Island is do not donate to the American Red Cross. William Molinaro's outrage lasted only one day. He backed off his criticism, soon telling CNN that all was just fine. It was killing me. So I spoke out, you know, get angry. But Molinaro's outburst, it turns out, wasn't the only assault on the Red Cross, a private charity that's considered the gold standard in American disaster relief. Some old questions are being asked again about what happens to all the money donated to the Red Cross by generous Americans. At the end of the day, there really is very little oversight of this whole system. Ben Smilowitz heads a watchdog group called the Disaster Accountability Project. Red Cross executive salaries, he says, are very high, and their tax filings prove it. Its CEO receives over $500,000 annually, and its top 11 executives get pay packages that begin at $275,000 a year. You've got an organization that's in fundraising mode. They're run by their PR operation right now. They're putting on their best face. They don't want to invite scrutiny. It's teaming up with the American Red Cross. All those telethons on ABC and on NBC have helped raise nearly $120 million in donations for Sandy Relief. And corporate commitments already pledged will elevate that total to nearly a quarter of a billion dollars, according to Smilowitz. Money the Red Cross says will be spent on the ground. We understand that people get frustrated. We understand the criticisms. We know where they're coming from. But by and large, what most people say to us is thank you. Charity ratings organizations give the Red Cross high marks. On the ground, it's all about visibility. Right here in the disaster zone, there are questions as well about the Red Cross and its effectiveness. Are there enough volunteers? Did they send out enough food trucks? Where can you find them? How can you find them? We found mixed reviews. This woman says the Red Cross has been superb. They're out here every day. They're easily to find. You don't have to go looking and searching. You know they're here. For a church group organizer also helping victims, a different take. Steve, as you drive around donating supplies, how much of a Red Cross presence have you seen? Uh, very little. Uh, I've been talking to a few of them, and uh, they're telling us that they're trying to get as many people out, but they're, they're, they're saturated, they're very stretched and very thin. The Red Cross is a huge institution, and its leaders say Sandy will cost the organization $100 million by the time all the numbers are in. In its appeals for Sandy, the Red Cross insists every penny goes directly to storm victims. Yet on its website, the Red Cross says only that donations will go toward storms like Sandy. Susan Candiotti, CNN, for Outfront.